Hi everyone, I'm Whitney and I post sewing and crafting tutorials here on my YouTube channel. My mom actually recently started making a quilt for my daughter and uh, the quilt blocks have a fussy cut center block that is cut from the kind of fabric that has like the little kids playing on it and uh, then she pieced strips around the center block to form a log cabin quilt block. and. Um, it's not exactly a traditional log cabin block because the center is more enlarged, but it is a variation of it. And um, when I saw some of the blocks that she had already been working on, I decided I wanted to make a block as well. And I decided to turn mine into a pillow sham. And since I had a 16 inch pillow form already hanging around my house, I decided to make it fit that. And so that is what I'm going to show you how to make today. For the sham front, you will need a center block measuring 10.5 by 10.5 inches. You also need 2 inch wide strips in 4 coordinating fabrics. You can do a lot of math and pre-cut them to the exact lengths, but I prefer to just trim mine down later. To put the block together, lay your first strip along the side of your center block. Put right sides together, lining up the edges. Sew with a quarter inch seam allowance. After sewing, press the piece open and trim off any excess length. Place a matching strip along the bottom, right sides together, and sew with a quarter inch seam allowance. Iron open and trim the excess. On the next side, place a strip from another color, right sides together with the edge, and sew to attach. Iron and trim like before. Repeat with the same fabric on the last side. Once it's ironed open and trimmed, you should have a square block. Then follow the pattern around a second time with your other two fabrics. It should look like this when it's done. You should now have a 16 and a half by 16 and a half inch log cabin block. Cut two pieces of fabric 16 and a half inches by 11 and a half inches for the sham backings. Fold one long side of each backing piece over a half inch and iron, then another half inch. Sew it down to form a double fold hem. I ironed a piece of lightweight fusible interfacing on the back of my block so it has a little more structure. With the block right sides up, lay the back pieces right sides down on it, lining up the raw edges. Pen in several places, then sew around the entire outer edge with a quarter inch seam allowance. Turn the sham right sides out through the sham backing. Give it a good press and you're done. So I absolutely love how the pillow sham turned out and I think it is going to look awesome with the quilt that my mom is making. And what I love about this project is you can definitely change up the size of the center block, you can change up the size of the strips, you can do um, more rows of strips, less rows, um, you can change up the colors, all that stuff and get a ton of different looks while still just making the log cabin quilt block. And if you give this or any of my other projects a try, make sure to send me a picture because I love seeing what you guys are making. Also don't forget to like and share this video and subscribe for all of my future videos. Bye!